So this one right here is, is the T4. And these two in the back are the long ones. These are the short ones. Behind here, there are two Phillips screws. So, when we remove it, I don't know how we're going to put it back to make it totally straight. Anyhow, in order to open the back lid, you need that. Just these two. Okay, so the best one is to use a suction cup like this. So now we can lift it up. But you need to open these, make sure they all come out nicely. Okay. So right here is the Wi-Fi module that we can replace. And this is the 2280M connector with a screw here. So this one got two fans. Okay, so this is what I want to replace. Okay, so this screws right here. Actually, I don't have to replace this one. So this one right here. Is the uh, hard drive. Okay, so this is the Western Digital WD Black 500 gigabyte. The same as my original. This original one is from uh, Toshiba. So what I'm going to do is just slide it in so it's keyed. all the way in and put the tape over it and this one little screw so we screw it back in so I'm not going to clone anything I'm going to install brand new window 10 on this one and shrink a partition so that I can uh, put dual boot windows of Mac on this okay so this is battery 7.7 .7 volts 53.61 watts so number one is on the left side and number two is on the right side. Okay. So when the screw is out, this one will pop up. All we need to do is just slide it out. Okay, so this is DW 1560 with um, HP. I think we have to tap these two pins. I don't know if I can get up to it, but uh, the two right pins of these four.
So let's put this back, but I'm not going to put it back completely. And release this. Yep, make sure it fits before we push it back down. It should snap in nicely. There we go. So let's put this back. Okay, so this is a USB, the latest cre media creation from a Microsoft website. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to turn it on and make sure that we go into F9. CMOS checksum is invalid. CMOS will reset and configuration is rebooted. So we're going to hit F10. So we're going to go to system and we're going to go to the boot option. So right now the legacy support is disabled. Secure boot is enabled. So we can boot from UEFI. Okay, let's do that. Let's do the skill boot. It's fine. Do F10. Yes. And we do F9. So, change boot order. So, boot from the USB UEFI. Before we install the Windows, we want to create a partition, EFI partition of 300 meg because Windows only create 100 meg. So we use repair and select command.prom and follow these commands here and we can create one. When we're done, we can redo it. Okay, so accept, next, custom, so you have 6 gig, and we're going to do next, okay, so let's do that, it's really fast. We install Windows really fast, so...